What's up guys, Nathan here, and today I'm gonna to give you my top five worst poker hands that you absolutely have to stop playing. These hands are probably costing you a lot of money. So I've worked with a lot of poker amateurs in the past, and I've gotten to see a lot of similarities, a lot of the same kind of things of what's holding them back, and these are the top five poker hands that I see a lot of them playing that they end up losing big pots with because these are hands that just scream trouble. They get you into all sorts of bad situations so hopefully this is going to help save you some money in your poker games let's get into it so we'll count down from five to one worst poker hands here we go so the fifth worst poker hand is going to be the old ace deuce suited all right so why is this hand so bad well a lot of people look at this it looks pretty oh my god i got the ace i got the two it's suited you can make a flush and while yes all of this is true in theory the problem with this hand is it has no kicker it has the worst kicker possible so a lot of amateur poker players beginners will hit top pair for example with this hand there'll, there'll be an ace on the flop or the turn and they'll end up playing a big pot and they'll end up losing to a better kicker like the other guy has ace jack or ace queen and that jack or that queen is going to play and they're going to lose the hand so the other mistake that a lot of players will make with this hand is chasing bad sort of inside straight draws you know for example the flop will come three four eight and they'll be chasing to hit that five which will make them a gut shot that wheel draw but the problem is there's only four remaining fives in the deck and you're not going to hit it that often also if that five does come if somebody else has a hand like six seven for example they've got a higher straight we're going to see that in some other hands in this video is often these hands draw to what we call the ass end of the straight the bottom end of the straight which is something that can get you in tons of trouble and you want to avoid so guys for all of these reasons ace deuce typically a hand that can get you in a lot of trouble now i do need to make a quick caveat if it's folded to you on the button or in the small blinds highly profitable positions like this yes you want to play ace deuce and you know all of the hands on this list really but in all other situations like if you're first to act pre-flop for example you know what we call under the gun or early position you're one of those first seats you typically want to be folding hands like this ace deuce suited and really all the hands on this list all right so the next worst poker hand is going to be the old king jack suited all all right, so everybody's favorite hand, King Jack suited. This is kind of everyone's nemesis, and for a reason, it ends up getting a lot of people in trouble. You can end up, once again, playing a top pair with this hand, only to find out that you're gonna lose to King Queen or Ace King, for example. So it has this sort of deceptively strong top pair, but the problem is, if you're in there versus any kind of decent, regular kind of opponent who's only playing strong hands, often Often you play a big pot, you got top pair with this hand, it's not going to be any good. So while King Jack does have value on its own, you will probably win in the long run with this hand. Once again, like with all hands on this list, if you're up front, you're one of the first people to act, you typically want to be folding this hand. And I would also say, you know, if you get re-raised pre-flop, you really, there should be alarm bells going off in your head if you have this hand. Because again, a lot of times they're going to re-raise you with a hand like King Queen or Ace King. And of course, if that king comes on the flop, that's gonna spell trouble for you. So King Jack, guys, play it carefully. It can often get you in some difficult spots. All right, so the third worst poker hand is going to be the olds, Jack Nine Suited. Now guys, this hand is my absolute nemesis and I have seen so many students of mine have trouble with this hand and there are multiple reasons why. Let's talk about top pair once again. This hand makes a terrible top pair. If you hit your jack, and you play a big pot, you're almost certainly going to have the worst kicker. Somebody's gonna have ace jack, king jack, the hand we just talked about, queen jack, 10 jack, all of these hands, if you're playing for top pair, it's very likely they're gonna have one of those. The other really bad thing about this hand is it can make a very obvious ass end of the straight like we talked about before. For example, if the flop comes king, queen, 10, and wow, we flopped a straight, but actually, Actually, you didn't flop the best straight because ace jack beats you on that board and I've seen a lot of people make that specific straight with this hand jack nine and lose a huge pot to ace jack 
The other thing that you'll find about this hand is that it's not going to make the highest flush. If you do make a flush, you can get flush over flush with this hand. A hand like this, I know it looks pretty, one of these suited one gappers, but honestly guys, you're not going to make a straight or even a flush that often. So for all of these reasons, this hand is typically trouble. Once again, I really only consider playing this hand if it's folded to me on the button or in the small blind, which are just highly profitable spots because you don't have too many people to beat. In all other situations, Situations, I would highly suggest pitching this hand getting it out of there all right so the second worst poker hand that is probably costing you money is the good old five three suited this is a hand that gets beginners in all sorts of trouble because once again it's one of those pretty little hands that looks nice you let oh my god I can make so many little straights and flushes and stuff but the problem is you end up chasing so many bad draws with this hand and of course it literally has no top pair value at all even if you hit your fives uh, you know you've got like literally the worst kicker almost and somebody could easily have a higher pair on that on the board anyways because all you've got is a pair of fives if you hit your flush this is a classic hand to get flush over flush you've got almost the worst flush if you hit a flush with this hand yes this hand can make some straights once in a while some well hidden straights I will say that but overall guys this hand is trouble in fact you're going to see that with a lot of of the small suited connectors and suited one gappers like this if you go into your poker tracker hud program for example you're going to see that these hands are almost certainly large losing hands over the long run for you i'll leave a link to the poker hud program that i use in the description below so you can go check the results yourself all right so the worst poker hand that is almost certainly costing you money is my all-time nemesis 6-7 suited. Guys, this is another one of these hands that everyone looks down at and they love it. It's so pretty. Oh my God, that's 6-7 suited. But this hand, guys, is all sorts of trouble. I know for a fact that even for the biggest winning poker players, this hand is a long-term large losing hand for them in fact really all suited connectors are but especially the lower suited connectors like this let's talk about it they make bad top pairs once again you hit your six or your seven you don't even have a very good kicker and somebody could easily have a higher pair on the board so it gets you into all sorts of bad situations where you're making hero calls or you think that your six with your seven kicker is going to be good you also end up chasing all sorts of straight draws and yeah this hand it's suited connector it can make some straights once in a while but we don't hit straights very often in poker that's you know the the cruel reality of the game right and lastly when you make a flush with this hand it's only a seven high flush once again begging to get flush over flushed by the guy who's holding you know king queen of diamonds for example in a spot like this so i want to know what hands are costing you guys the most money at the poker tables make sure you let me know which hands are the most troublesome for you in the comments below do you think that i missed any on this list do you agree with the hands on this list or disagree with them let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you want to see more poker videos like this make sure you're subscribed to the channel and also shove all in on that like button below if you found this video helpful humorous or really anything at all and last if you want to know my complete strategy for crushing small and mid stakes poker games make sure you grab a copy of my free poker cheat sheet that is the top link in the description below it's called massive profit of the micros it's a 50 page little free guide you can read it in an afternoon and you'll learn my entire strategy to start consistently beating these games and finally i will leave a poker video that i made just last week right here that i think will help you guys out some more so thanks a lot for watching guys don't play these poker hands i'll catch you next week this has been nathan williams with BlackRain79.com.